consider the complete combustion of octane, and there it is, C8H18, with 100% theoretical error. Obtain a balanced reaction, determine the air to fuel ratio on a molar basis, then on a mass basis, and the mole fraction of water vapor in the products. Start off with our fuel, C8H18. And then we're gonna have air, and that's the way we write air. We put a, a parenthesis around it because I'm gonna change this coefficient here. If I change the coefficient there to make the oxygen balance, it adjusts the nitrogen in the right proportion. All right, where is our carbon gonna go? CO2. CO2. I don't know how many, I have to calculate that. Where is our hydrogen in our fuel gonna go? H2O, I have to calculate the coefficient there. What goes along for the ride? N2, 3.76. I just always put that coefficient right in front of it. Leave it there. Okay? Maybe your chemistry teacher told you, don't leave quotients and fractions and multiplications. Work it out to a, you know, a, a number. Fine, that's okay. You can do that. I'll do that at times too, but a lot of times I just like to leave it like this. Okay, now, I leave a 1 here and I never change it. Let's balance our carbon. How many CO2s do I have? Is it eight? Now the hydrogen. If I have 18 H's, how many H2s do I have? H2O's. Nine? Take it slow. This is the slippery spot. Count up the oxygens on the right-hand side. How many oxygens do I have? Two times eight plus nine times one that's 16 plus 9 don't make a mistake here do not make a mistake here 25 and I come over here and I like to write it like this 25 divided by 2 professor I know that 25 divided by 2 is 12 and a half can I write 12 and a half yes you can but I prefer 25 over 2 so now Oxygen is completely balanced. Balance nitrogen is the very end, which means I left a little room over here. So what is the balance for that nitrogen? 25 over 2. I stop, I pause. You need to make sure you did it right. Check a couple balances. Does it look right? Thumbs up if you agree. All right. Determine the air to fuel ratio on a molar basis. Air to fuel on a molar basis. How many moles? of air to the number of moles of fuel. Number of moles of air is 12.5 times 1 plus 3.76, because nitrogen is part of the air. Or 12.5 times 4.76, right? What's a typical error a student make? Oh, they just put a 1 there, or they just put a 3.76 there. They don't put a 4.76 there. Air is made up of oxygen and the nitrogen. So there's that's, that's correct right here. And then how many moles of fuel? 1. So the air to fuel on a molar basis for this problem is 59.5. What about on a mass basis? air to fuel on a mass basis is the mass of air divided by the mass of fuel is the number of moles of air times the molar mass of air divided by the number of moles of fuel times the molar mass of fuel which is the air to fuel on a molar basis times the mass of molar mass of air molar mass of fuel and the let me substitute numbers here 59.5 times uh, 29 close enough divided by 114.2, okay, this goes to 15.1, 15.1, 15 15.1 kilograms of air per every kilogram of fuel, and then mole fraction of water in the products. So Y of H2O is going to be 9 divided by 8 plus 9 plus 12.5 times 3.76. Did I do that right? and that becomes 0 0.1406, 14%.